I get a call um, from a sister, a wonderful sister, standing very strong with Christ. And um, I'm talking to her on the phone, and she says, God wants you in Atlanta. Everything is taken care of. So who can, you know, <laughs> refuse such an invitation? So I was excited, and here I am. Um, I just, you know, everybody knows I, my husband is Raymond, and we've been um, um, living in Dumont for uh, all this time. And uh, I come from India. I, was, I came uh, here in 97 um, when I uh, married Raymond. We met in India, and then, you know, I came over. Um, God just worked so amazingly, um, you know, going back in time in India when uh, I was there and working and, you know, I had just graduated. I, God blessed me with the opportunity to come across and meet uh, the Baines family. And it was through the uh, father of Beatrice that we got to know the truth, that we got into the word. Um, life has never been the same since because God has been just amazing. You know, he has brought us from strength to strength. He has done things in our lives that have brought us to a point of being fully persuaded, where our hearts are fully persuaded that he is for us and nobody can be against us. You know, he is a good God. He's a great God and he is faithful above everything else. So I'm very thankful to God for you know, the way he has been um, molding and shaping our lives over here in the United States, giving us many opportunities to, to just continue to you know, love and serve our brothers and sisters. And we look forward because he has been making it really real to us and revealing to us what our purpose is. Because many times I used to question, because back in India, you know, if anybody would have asked me, um, where do you see yourself? It was definitely not in the United States. I mean, no offense, but I definitely wanted to come here because my sister is here, older sister. I definitely wanted to come and visit and, you know, um, have fun. But I never thought that I would be married and settling down here. So, and that was a time when things were really not um, as big in India as far as the word, spreading the word was concerned. It was only very limited to mostly the Christian families when Sangat was sharing the word with people. And uh, 97 was the year when I came here, and that was the time I started hearing when I, after coming here that, you know, it's just going crazy, you know, the way the word is reaching out to the mountains, to villages, and people, you know, outside of the Christian community are bracing uh, Christianity and uh, Jesus Christ above everything else, you know, because they are being shown that it's not religion. It's not a religion. It's not Christianity. Christianity as people perceive it, but it's a relationship with God. So hearing all that and hearing those amazing testimonies from there, I used to wonder, God, why did you bring me here? Because there's so much of action happening there, and I don't see anything happening here around my area where I am. There's nothing, you know, I don't hear of any testimonies, any miracles happening, and I mean, people not like living it or doing it. So that used to be my question, and uh, little by little, sure enough, God started revealing to us you know, in, in different ways and just working in our lives personally, where we were personally seeing on, you know, how God was just changing and shaping our lives. So we started seeing the direction that God was taking us and so very thankful for um, my children and uh, the way God has taught us. So over the years, Raymond and I, what we have learned and what I just wanted to share and just emphasize on is our confession you know, the words that we speak. God has shown us big time that words are very important because it was through his words that he created everything. You know, when we go uh, into um, the scriptures and we see in Genesis, it all begins with, and God said, and God said, and God said. So he's just speaking, 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 and things are coming to pass, and things are just, just appearing. So we are made in his image. And if we are in his image, we also, we speak and we see things manifest. God has shown us big time that words, they are like seeds indeed. You know, whatever we speak, it bears fruit. So we have to really look into what we are speaking because they're also like containers. You know, what are our words containing? Are they containing positives or negatives? Because whatever we are confessing and speaking, that's what we will see. So it became real to us in real time when we started practicing it. And we have been doing it in our lives, and we are seeing great, great uh, results with our children. You know, just to give you a small example, my son, Aaron, he's 18 today. 
he has uh, he's in college right now first year and he's doing his uh, master's in business studies business administration also he has joined the marine reserves so he's <laughs> training for that i'm so proud of him but this is a boy who when he was uh, uh, in high school all he was doing was play xbox the whole night through you know all you could hear from his room was boom boom bam all those sounds and you know him just go and watch him so he's like busy trying to maneuver that and if you try to take it away there would be like irritation, irritability. You know, we have talked a lot of times with mothers, my sisters here, you know, how that is, how that makes you think. So initially it used to bother us, but we learned, God showed us that, you know, instead of saying anything to him, we went to God directly. You know, we just gave it to God, said, Father, he's in your hands, he is growing, he's in high school. You shape his life, you know, you give him direction. And sure enough, in a couple of months, he goes himself, packs up his Xbox, puts it on eBay, sells it off, focus, starts, focusing on, starts focusing on his studies, on his grades, and starts getting you know, straight A's. You know? And he gets serious about it, and all of a sudden I see my child like he grew overnight. And it was just going to God directly, not saying anything to him, just being loving with him you know, all through and just encouraging him, just, yes, as a parent, saying things that God puts in our hearts, you know, because it's our duty to just say and tell them what is right from wrong, but then not like forcing anything upon him or, you know, yelling at him or screaming at him, but just going to God and giving our hearts. And he takes care of that. So today, this is a boy and he's doing just excellent. Uh, just so proud of him and for my daughter too. And there are just many testimonies like that. I can just go on and on and on. But the thing is of confessing and the confessions and speaking positives. So every day, Raymond and I, we just made it a point. Every day we wake up, we speak blessings over each other. We speak blessings over our marriage. We speak blessings over our kids. We speak blessings for the area where we are in, for the whole nation, you know, for all the whole body of Christ. We just speak, we speak words and we see things coming to pass. And today I'm just so blessed to see and hear when I'm hearing testimonies from all over, like Brendan, in Schenectady and all these beautiful girls I travel with, you know, Lauren, Michelle, and uh, Anna. Sorry, there was a, I won't say a senior moment, no. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we've been hearing, so it's not just from any particular country that now today we are hearing testimonies from, it is just coming in from all over the place. And God is showing that, you know, the whole body of Christ is on the same page today. There are things being shared and discussed and, you know, things happening, which makes our hearts rejoice and makes us even more excited to see what God is going to be doing in our areas in particular. And, you know, just giving us opportunities. And just like my sisters shared just now, you know, we should be just ready every morning and thank God for providing us with the opportunity. So the people who don't even know us, they see our lives and they want to just come over to us and talk to us, you know, about God and why we are so happy and joyful all the time you know, that they want to know that. So that's just my heart to just share of, you know, just paying focus on our words, that's what we speak every day for each other, to each other, and to God for each other. So thank you, I love you all. God bless.